Hey everyone, my name is Warner Logic Bear from Bear Science Lab, and welcome back to Complex Analysis. Today, we're going to be talking about Cauchy's Integral Theorem, which is a crazy theorem that suggests that you can know the integral of any function just given the value of one point inside, which is stupid, right? But here's what it states. The integral of f of z divided by z minus z naught dz is equal to two pi i f of z naught. Now that's a pretty weird thing to say, right? I mean it's like saying that if you have a function g of z, its integral is exactly equal to, I mean, z minus z naught times g of z naught 2 pi i. I mean, that's how simple it is. Yeah. So, how do we prove such an elegant statement? Well, the function g of z is equal to f of z minus f of z naught over z minus z naught everywhere except z naught and is equal to f prime of z naught at z naught. The requirement for this theorem to hold, by the way, is that f is holomorphic. That means that g has to be at least continuous, and this is going to be analytic, which means it's analytic everywhere except possibly one point. And that possibly one point is fine, because that means that as long as this point isn't inside, if it is, then we have to do a little bit more stampering. The integral over the contour of g is always going to be equal to zero by the fundamental theorem of contour integrals, if gamma is a closed simple contour. Then you get to know that the integral of f of z divided by z minus z naught dz is equal to the integral of f of z naught over z minus z naught dz. But of course, with this one, you can pull out the f minus f of z naught. And the rest just becomes ln of z minus z naught, which over any simple closed contour is just going to become 2 pi i. 